okay? <laughs> you still with us? Right, so I've got a, a dh by dv to find. So let's differentiate this. So dv by dh is, take the 3 at the front, it's a quarter pi r squared. Now I want to find it when the hopper is half its depth. So when it's half its depth, h is 2. Now be careful, h is 2 meters. But if you look at the unit, everything's in centimeters. So they're trying to trick us up here, because it's like a units issue here. So because it's 500 centimeters cubed, I'm working in centimeters, so h is actually 200. So let's look at dv by dh evaluated when h is 200. So that would be a quarter pi 200 squared. So 200 squared is going to be 40,000. Divided by 4, it's going to be 10,000 pi. Right, so let's go back to my big equation that I wanted. Which is going to be up here somewhere. So dh by dt is dh by dv times dv by dt. That's what I want. Now I've got that for dv by dh. So I want it upside down because I want dh by dv. So that's 1 over 100,000 pi times by my dv by dt, which in the question is minus 500. So dh by dt, so what's going to cancel here? I've got, and then that's going to be H. 50. Hang on, let me pause it. Yeah, okay, I just paused it then because um, one of the math staff had a wandering to see if I was going to come out for a walk. So what have I got? I've got 5 over 100 pi on that, or minus 5. So that's minus 1 over 20 pi. And that's dh by dt. Um, the completed pack does it as a, uh, as a decimal. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like that. So that's centimetres, because that's the h per second there. Be careful. That minus tells you that it's decreasing. So if you said it's changing at a rate of minus 1 over 20 pi, that would be nice. But if you said it's decreasing at a rate of minus 1 over 20 pi, you're doing a double negative. So actually, you're saying it's increasing. So what do we need to know? So find the rate at which. So it's de I'm going to write it down here. So, there so therefore, the rate of decrease is 1 over 20 pi centimeters per second. So be very, very careful, because if you put the rate of decreases minus 1 over 20 pi, you actually got a ne double negative, so it's getting bigger. So be careful with that one. The completed pack says that's 0.0159. Right, there's a question for you. Boing. <laughs> there's a question. <laughs> we just got a blank page. Let's have a look. There, oh, there it is. Look there. There you are. Give that a bash. See if you can you can do it. It's quite a full one. I do like these ones. You've got to think about that one though, because it's like a. 30 degree one instead but I do like those ones because you've got three variables see look I've got volume, I've got radius and I've got height and if my volume gets bigger so does my radius and my height so one change changes all and that's what we don't like you can do multi-variable calculus though which does it all let's have a look at this bit for you copying down there there we go so they're a bit full on, but they're really nice questions. Very, very chunky questions. You'll be glad to know there's another example for this lesson. It's properly full on. Right, let's go with example four. So it says a spherical balloon is inflated. So a spherical balloon is inflated at a constant rate of 200 centimetres cubed per second. Looking at the units, clearly dv dt. Centimetres cubed is volume, seconds is time. So 200 centimetres cubed per second. 
what is the rate of increase in surface area? So I'm looking for dA by dt. Some people might write dSA by dt. That's fine. It's all good. Um, when the radius is 100. So dA by t, by dt when r is 100 centimetres. There. Okay. So what do we know? It's a balloon, so we know that the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Right? So I'm looking for dA by dt. And that is dA by something times something with dt. I've got dv by dt. So I've got dv, dv. So that bit is OK. Right. Now then, here's my problem, just to really get you thinking. What I need is an equation that links volume to surface area. And that would be pretty hard to get from the, the surface area one. Because I know that the, um, the surface area one is 4 pi r squared. There. I could rearrange the a to make it into r equals uh, and replace the r with an a. So I could have, maybe, it could be the square root of, what will it be? It'll be a over 4 pi is r. And I could stick that in... Where am I sticking that then? Uh, there, for r. And then I've got something with v and a in it. And that would work. It looks awfully messy, but that would work. Well, what I can do is a double chain rule. Yeah. So I'm going to do a double chain. This is the effect of doing too much recording on one day. Everything seems amazing now. So I'm going to do double chain rule. So my dA by dV is dA by dR times by dR by dV. So we've got a bit of a double chain rule going on. So let's have a look then. So I know that a is 4 pi r squared. So dA by dr is 8 pi r. I know that, that v is 4 thirds pi r cubed. I know that dv dr is 4 pi r squared. Both of these when r is 100. So dA by dr well, actually, let's cancel it down first before we do that. Um, right, so let's chain rule these then. So dA by dV is dA by dr, which is 8 pi r, times by dr by dv. So remember, dr dv is 1 over 4 pi r squared. So it's 1 over 4 pi r squared. So dA, oops, my D is a bit dodgy, dodgy D. Uh, let's give myself a bit more room here. So dA by dV, so the 8's cancel is a 2, the pi's cancel, and it's just a, is that just a 2 over R? 2R, isn't it? No, hang on, hang on, hang on, where have I got wrong? Uh, why do I think I've gone wrong? I've been rushing. So let me pause. This looks different to the completed part, but I'm just going to go with it and see if it works. So that's dA by dR, uh, dA by dV is 2 over R. And that's when R is 100. So dA by dV will be 2 over 100, which is 1 over 50. Now you've got to keep an eye on what you're actually after. What I was actually after was dA by dT. So that's dA by dr, which is 1 over 50, times by dv by dt, which was 200. Uh, that gives me... F oh, am I right? It works. I've done it slightly different to how the pack does it. I've got the same answer, which is nice, but it, it probably looks more confusing. But I've done that bit and then plugged it in. I'm running out of time. There's a question for you, and then that's the end of the, the lesson. Don't forget your centimetres squared.
Well done, everybody. I'll see you all later when I've woken up.